So Quick Views lets you look at a related record's information without having to navigate to it. This way you can look at account information when looking at an opportunity, or view product information when looking at a case or better yet a work order. Getting this control up and running is pretty simple, so let's hop into Power Apps. As always, here we are back in the Power Apps Maker Portal. Today, we are gonna to navigate to our main opportunity form where we want to add a quick view for our account. And so then that way, while on our opportunity, we can see the account's contact information. There are a ton of other use cases for this capability that I mentioned in the intro. Maybe you wanna give customer service reps the ability to view account information directly from a case they're working. Or you wanna be able to view the account's entitlement information directly from a work order. The first thing I would recommend is making sure you have some space for this nested record on your form. Little bonus tip, I would actually recommend you create a new quick view form. This way you're nesting one that only shows the fields you want as opposed to utilizing an out of the box one. I'll be showing you how to do that in this video in just a couple minutes. Now I've determined that I want this account quick view form to actually be in the top right hand side right by the header. So then this way in the user experience they have the account field and just below it is information on the account. Once you know where you're going to be placing this control go ahead and select components in the ribbon and then on the left hand side open up the display group and you're gonna find the quick view control here. Go ahead and click and drag this onto your form wherever you would like it. Once you let go, you're gonna have to select the lookup field that you want this control to use as a reference. For me, in my situation, I'm gonna be using the account field. I feel like I have had some funny business with my lookup fields not always showing in this, so if you, they are not there, maybe you try removing them from your form and then adding the quick view selecting it, setting it up, and then adding the field back onto your form if you have that situation. Also, I recognize that lookups and table relationships may be confusing to some people, so I'm gonna take just 20 seconds to quickly explain this. You can only utilize lookups on this control or set a different way, the parent side of the relationship in a parent-child relationship. So for example, accounts can have many opportunities but opportunities can only have one account, so the account record is the parent. So you can think of it as the parent or the side of the one in the one-to-one -one or one-to-many relationships. This is what the lookup is pointing to. If you have more questions on table relationships, put them down in the comments down below. I'll be sure to answer any questions there. After selecting your lookup, then you're gonna have to select the quick view form you want this control to reference. Note, if this isn't already clear, you can only use quick view forms, you can't use main forms, can't use quick create forms, can't use card forms, etc. I'm gonna utilize the out of the box account summary card form. Selecting your form and then hitting done is going to add this quick view form directly onto your main form. I feel like I'm saying form a lot. Here is the current count of the amount of times I've said form in this video. Before we publish, I just wanna make sure that this quick view form is directly in the very top right hand corner. If you go to the footer and switch the show hidden toggle, then it's going to show everything that's currently hidden on the form. And as I suspected, we have a control here that is out of the box. And I've noticed that there's been an issue with this displaying in the maker portal, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and switch these. Now, once our form is good to go, go ahead and save and publish. While this is publishing, I just wanna say thank you so much for sticking this far into the video. If you're finding this video helpful or insightful or any other thing, go ahead and check out other videos on this channel or share this one with a friend. Okay, this is done publishing. Let's go ahead and take a look at a record in Dynamics. You can see that our main opportunity form now has this account summary quick view directly where we had placed it. Now one current limitation of quick view forms is they currently lock all of these fields so you cannot edit them from the opportunity record. Did you know that the form control will give you the same functionality but also give you the ability to edit these records? If you're interested in learning how to implement the form control and how this would have implications on your data, go ahead and check out this linked video here. Now, as promised, let's go ahead and show you how to create your own quick view form if you wanted to do that as opposed to using an out of the box one. Navigate to the related table, or in my situation, I'm gonna to navigate to the accounts table, and I'm gonna then find forms. Once I'm in the forms, you can see here, here is my account summary card form. You can see that it's listed as a quick view form. 
Something that can be confusing is these are forms. These are not views. So quick view forms are different than views, which why they name it that I'm not sure, but that's what they did. If you want a new one, just go ahead and select new in the top left of the ribbon and make sure you select quick view form. This will open up the designer and you can build this form however you'd like to your heart's desire. But it does not stop there. If you are interested in other ways on how you can boost the UI UX of your Microsoft Dynamics experience through Power Apps today, go ahead and check out this playlist here as I cover all of the different current controls available to you. Thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the video. My name is Griffin Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer, and I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.